Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate slip casting, which I think is a lot of fun and seems kind of easy, but there's a lot of uh, little subtleties to it. Uh, this is the product that we're going to get, which is just a little cup. And then your decorative process is going to be to add what's called an underglaze transfer onto that. Think of it like a temporary tattoo. You're going to make your own design and then press it onto the cup. So to make the cup, we need this mold here. See where that came from? And then we need casting slip. Now casting slip is slightly different than the regular slip that you have in your kits at your tables. Um, it has an added ingredient that makes it um, work better for this process. So first thing I'm gonna do, actually first thing I'm gonna do, make sure that lid's on tight. Give it a little shake. And then I'm going to fill up the mold with the slip. I'm gonna fill this up just to overflowing, just barely. Because I'm gonna to have to trim off the top eventually. What I need to do is start my timer because this should take approximately 15 minutes to work. My wife is calling me. That doesn't help me with this video. Okay, still going. And so um, this plaster mold is going to suck the moisture out of the clay. And so there will be a, a shell starting to form inside that'll be pretty much like that. My wife is really needing to talk to me. Sorry about that. Of course, that was not important. So, um, forming a shell about that thickness, and then we'll pour the excess out, and then we'll trim off whatever's dried up on the plaster here. And then we'll end up with, and then we gotta wait another half hour to make sure that it's uh, dried up enough to be safe to remove from the mold and hopefully it's about a little less than leather hard. Uh, obviously the tricky part with a form like this is deforming it when you uh, pull it out of the mold. And you can kind of see I did that because yesterday I was very impatient in wanting to test this bad boy out. So while we wait, I'm gonna talk about the underglaze transfer. So this is going to be your own design or making. You can choose an item that you like, a, a symbol, a design, or whatever. You can make up your own thing. So I printed out here the uh, House Stark Dire Wolf from Game of Thrones, if any of you watch that or if it's too not cool anymore. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to trace this because I am not above tracing. I'm looking at these teeth, kind of thinking this may be too detailed. but we'll see how it comes out. This is also not a great thing for a demonstration. I should have traced it beforehand. You don't really need to watch me do this.
Okay, so now we've got that. And now I am going to use slip in a little squeeze bottle here to trace my outlines in underglaze. Now, um, this takes a little practice. You gotta get used to how it flows out of the bottle. And um, if you wanted, you could use a paintbrush, but you gotta get it thick enough with a paintbrush to actually work. So we'll see how this goes. Probably could have used a more narrow tip for this as well. I'm gonna just put my hand in slip. That little clog there. All right, I think I'm oh, not quite done. There we go. Okay, now that's gotta dry up. A lot of waiting involved in this process. And I'm going to cut this out into a rectangle. This was just newsprint. And so I'm gonna cut all that out. And I'm going to leave it in a rectangle because it's going to be a lot easier to wrap a rectangle around this cup than it is to uh, do something that is not rectangular. Just make life a little bit easier for ourselves by keeping it on this. Uh, how much longer do I have? Six minutes. I don't want you to sit and stare at something drying for six minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this and then we'll come back. Okay, time is up. Pour the excess back into my jug of slip here. in there so I'm just going to kind of try and roll it around as best I can to keep it even 
because otherwise you get some sort of oddities on the inside, sort of inconsistencies. Some parts are thicker, some parts are thinner. I don't want that. Okay. So right now, we gotta wait another half hour to remove this. And all this is gonna get scraped off. This extra is gonna be scraped off. And if all goes well, we'll have a nice flat rim on the, uh, on the cup, and I should be able to just slide it out. All the rest of this is just, unfortunately, casualties and waste. Although, I bet I can find something to do with it. All right, we'll be back in a half hour. Okay, 30 minutes is up. Bell's gonna ring in a second. So let's see about removing all this. So I'm doing my cutting, pressing outward so that I press my clay into the plaster. And this still looks liquidy on the inside here. Yeah, that's still soft. So I'm gonna give it some more time. It's a lot longer than I would like it to be, but here we go. All right, I have my cup, and I have my underglaze transfer, which I realized earlier today that uh, I did this backwards. This is how you'd wanna look at it normally, and when I put it on, it's gonna be backwards. So that's something very important, especially if your design has text. You have to do it in a mirror so that it goes on the proper way. I'm gonna do it anyways, just because I want the practice. So this is leather hard. Go ahead and position this, hold it down. Give it a little spritz with my water bottle here. Kind of immediately soaking up where that underglaze was. Just gonna use my finger first, kind of press that in. And then I'm gonna go in with the rib and give it, give it the business here. Okay, I think that's gonna be pretty good. Let's see if this is decent or garbage. Yeah, not great. Got some serious smearing up here where it was real heavy. Those thinner lines did all right, but not great otherwise. I'll see if I can clean that up. I don't know if I'll be able to or not, but I'll try. Anyways, good examples of what not to do. Too much glaze can run, thinner lines seem to show up a little bit better. All right, see you next time.